Welcome back, Domination. So, I got I powered up, but I'm not at the top tier for events. You need 8,000, even though 6,500 is enough for growing. Now, Domination is probably my favorite event because it's not always just a grind. You actually have to sometimes prepare build up your team so this is what I've done I've powered up my team as far as I can from about 6,784 is what it says so I've powered it up to basically about 7,000 higher so we've got Pager, gonna be the best shooter. Look at this, six blips on the two point and three points. So if you put on his mentor, where you get the three point and defending, and then you put on a gear that has two off shot dribble and a mid range shooting, you have the best shooter in the game basically, if you're running Ruby level. Pretty sick card at that level so I'm not mad that like I'm gonna miss out and then it's also Tuesday bonus the next one Rozingas I mean seven foot three can't teach height and been playing against the seasons and diamond guy's a beast can shoot and just the height alone is, makes a big difference. So, if you train them up all the way, you probably have about over 7,000 easily. And then here's the prize Larry Bird. Larry Bird, if you've seen my other videos, I won the domination with him for Amethyst. And uh, that guy is a knockdown three point shooter. And really a playmaker all around look at all the fives I mean other than layups and dunks agility and strength I mean he's got fives across the board now what I'm missing out on is Ray Allen because I'm not a diamond tier but if I'm lucky enough to get in a good group and get first place I can still get a diamond Let's check out the teams that I've won. So I'm gonna miss having Penny Hardaway in the lineup as shooting guard, but it's a pretty good lineup. Evening out the power is the key in domination. So you don't wanna just have one strong team. You wanna have at least three or four that are around the same power. That way you can balance out and have a good chance at top reward. So my, with powering up, I got the top three teams pretty equal. And then my fourth and fifth team, they're not at the same power, but they have some type of bonuses. Like team four has a Celtic bonus, and uh, team five has uh, prime player Durant. So anyone that has 8,000, power you're going to be going for Jesus Shuttlesworth or Ray Allen and again he is a rainmaker he is a lethal three-point shooter he is the guy one of the best shots in the NBA finals game six Miami Heat versus Spurs. Check it out. Anyway, got a lot of good uh, cards for the Rainmakers. Um, do well, and with the uh, next event coming up, it could be helpful to craft some of these players to get more style bonus. Anyway, just a quick breakdown, just see where I'm at, see how I powered up my team, and my top cards. So Giannis, Prime player, power forward. It's 
my top card currently. Anyway, I'll catch you on the flip side.